could lose life on this fast route. Yeah, turn thoughts to a cash cow. I might flip that to the glass house. I don't need the accolades. I'm in love with the chase. I just want to eat, save a spot at the table. Beast with the slap, hit myself on the map. You long with the wind, but we know that it's cap. Five hour flights, couple nights at the All right, today, well, I was going to wait a little while to do this to this car, but I just... Something about stock height on cars. It just, this car looks so normal and I, I like to ride low. We're doing airlift suspension. So last M4 it had airlift performance. Most of that same components is going on to this car. We saved it all. Just like last time, we have a flow tank. We have two compressors. We already had the harness that's cut up from the last car. I did get new replacement bags for the front. As you can see, they look a little short. I don't know why. And then we have a whole new rear section completely from airlift. doing right now is something you don't typically do doing air suspension and that's why I'm vlogging for a moment we went ahead and got new bags these are the old this is the old setup on my old car we put about 30,000 miles on these by the way kind of crazy to think maybe a little less than that but it's close to remove these bags we've never done it before so it's a learning curve for both of us I just took off the airline it looks like you're gonna need an allen key and a uh, 17 mil and from my understanding, I haven't watched a video or looked it up at all, but it looks like you just take the top off and screw off the bag and put the new bag on and call it a day. But here, we're gonna wing this and see if that's actually the case. So, <sighs> look at you, you're so strong. Did you strip it? No. Please tell me you didn't strip it. Imagine stripping it, I'd be like, no! You're so strong. I'm not making very good progress though, I must no, say. You're making all my whole, okay. I gotta put this thing down. I've gotta spray myself with off. Bugs already? Bro, like seven. Woo! A tasty, tasty the off. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Grease. Stupid. It's a nylock nut, dude. It's gonna be tough the entire time. I got one, you got one. Well, we should actually replace those. They didn't come with replacements. Well, okay, but still, if you pull a nylock nut off, you're supposed to put a new nylock nut on. Send it, huh? What was that? I said send it, huh? Send it. Send it. <laughs> All right. Nut is coming off. And it should, yeah, buddy. That's what I'm saying. So this just comes up off the top of here. Yep. I can hold if you want me to when you spin. Is it broke loose? I don't think it's gonna loose that easy. You My half a team tiger. You try to hold it. You got it? Yep. Oh. Okay, um, we need a new strap. New what? New strap. Is, that, is that short for strategy? Yes. Here, you turn the bag, I'll hold it. Just gotta break it loose first. Ready? Ready? Yeah. <sighs> Leverage on this side is too easy. Okay, try that. Ready? Yeah. Oh. It sounded like it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, if you can hold this, I could probably turn the bag. Well, what if we use the table as an advantage? That's, you can you can do that. Well, it turns out as you go, it gets really easy. Just breaking it loose. That was not easy. That was a two-person task. Dude! 
Not bad. Wow. Okay. Did you, did any Let's of them do a leave? giveaway? <laughs> no, not at all. So really these things didn't need to be replaced. Then but why are you replacing them? This is why I'm replacing the bags. They're really not bad, they're not leaking, but it looks like a knife just went right across. I don't know if it's from previous installer or if it was just wear and tear. Either way, that's why I'm replacing them. And then again, the whole rear setup is completely new. It's gonna be a tight squeeze, my guy. Come on, a little pushy pushy. Little pushy pushy. Oh, she don't want to fit, huh? Just a little oomph. Dude, I'm gonna break your table. Really Especially proud. being in the middle. <laughs> All right. Squishy. There, you're on thread. At least you know this way is straight, right? Yeah, it reminds me of the playground back in like second grade. <laughs> it's a 22. That's, uh, you got everything that you got. <laughs> Real quick, I just want to show you. I'm not putting a single hole in this car, like at all. Wiring goes all along with the factory wiring. Down, it goes underneath the fuse box. Here's the resistors. Looks really clean. This is when I tap into the fuse box. It's the main power to let the system know if it needs to turn on or off. And then all the airlines. This is actually kind of complicated, but it runs into this hole, into the frame rail. Thing comes out right there. Everything is nicely tucked with the factory wiring. I say I am putting any holes in the car. I put three. For the tank, it's on a piece of wood. And there's actually three bolts. One, two, three. And they're actually nut inserts as well. They're not self-tappers. I went ahead and drilled a hole and then I put a nut insert there. So even when I remove it and I relocate this tank like I plan on, it's not gonna look bad. And I might be able to use those nut inserts for something else. And I did go ahead and scrap this piece in a way. What I mean by that is I put holes in it to hold everything. Compressors are all held. I use some of my wide body hardware and then I put tape over it to make sure that it does not scratch the paint. I also might put a couple rags down there just to make sure that those bolt heads don't scratch that up at all. All the cars I work on, I try to be extra cautious, put as little holes as possible. This one though, it's next level because I know this is a temporary setup. We're gonna go ahead and probably do a professional show setup down the road. This is get by so I can get this car aligned and ready for the light body and get sent to Dallas for performance mods. All right, three, two, one. Okay, this one line goes straight to there, goes to one compressor and then the other compressor there. 
all the lines all nice and tucked away and then the fuse tap is on the tin on this side it's to the engine so when you put an accessory mode it comes on other than that super clean here's your moisture canister it will actually uh, dispose of the water out the vent again no holes this entire setup has zero holes here is the exhaust which I am going to cut it probably about right there it's about to be shorter rear bags are in front bags are in we're all set. As we've been underneath this car, we're finally done with the air suspension, which is awesome. But while we've been under here, we've noticed some damages. This car is in really, really good shape. It doesn't have that many damages. And because of that, I figured why not try to get this thing to 100%. That being said, I ran to BMW of Tulsa to pick up some new plastic underbelly trims to replace this oil cooler cover and to replace the side piece because it's been pulled up on curves many times and this one is just completely cracked up and destroyed BMW of Tulsa got me these parts within a day and there's one other item as well I've never seen this disappear before but the bumper is missing a grill I don't think I can put that on unless I remove the bumper we plan on removing the bumper here in a couple weeks so that part's going to hold off for now You know what's crazier than like one bag BMW F chassis? Having two of them. That's just what we did. We actually filmed bagging Ruben's car and well, I'm, I'm not the brightest, okay? I, I deleted the footage. But here's the reveal. They're both obnoxious, they both have GTS tails and they're both on bags. Man, this is crazy. Two fingers and four fingers. I'm like, what the? What does he want, dude? I was like, This is my boy Diablo Optics. He's the one that's been doing the videography for this channel. Go check him out. He's got a YouTube, uh, YouTube channel and his Instagram. But he is killing it, guys. Sheesh! The tail light teaser. God dang, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that's, oh that's gnarly, dude. <laughs> I heard a YouTuber just say that the other day. I laughed. That's crazy. I really probably need to get a tag. It's not expired yet. I just haven't gotten like the paperwork from the dealership, so I physically can't pay the tag. I'm going to Dallas here pretty soon for mods on that car. I might drop by the dealership since they're in Hearst, Texas. That badge look good. Oh yeah, I forgot. You actually have an OE badge. Now, it looks really big when we installed it because I was comparing it to yeah, the last that one. Insane, dude. Yeah, but now it looks good. It looks so natural. I wish I could install mine, but that'd be dumb of me since we're repainting the car. Should have been recording, but man, we pull into this place for shots at ORU and they say we can't record here. What is that? You got kicked out instantly. How about front look? A little low? It's not his fault, he reached out to the supervisor and that's where it got really bad. They said no and wasted like 10 minutes of our time. Yeah dude, you looking fresh bro. I like it. Let's go. How crazy is it to see both those cars together? 
So we had gone to like four spots today and gotten kicked out by security on all of them. It's too dark. So it was a short, really cool video that we just did. Pretty crazy for two bad F chassis, huh? I, I'd say it was awesome, man. And we've gotten a lot done on this car already. Again, there's no more mods happening to this car until it goes to Dallas, which will be July 5th. So we got like a week and a half. So the next video probably likely be like a vlog style because I want to pick up the camera. If there's anything you want to see more or if you want to see more of the car in a specific way, maybe a slow walk around, whatever it is, let me know. I'll make it happen. Is this thing. One second. It's so loud. I don't know if you guys have ever experienced like the straight pipe exhaust with like an aggressive verbal tune. It's, it's overkill. It, it's so crazy, but it puts a smile on my face. I'm obsessed with it. But after like 20 minutes of driving, I'm like, please just turn it off. I, I, I try to stop. When this does go, the new tuning won't have the pops. So I'm trying to enjoy the pops while I have it for the next week. But. Hope you guys are all having a good day today and enjoy the footage of these two bad cars. Keep living life and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. No self control, it's an issue. I can't stop it from doing it all day. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. I'm, I'm gonna calm down. I, I, okay, alright, stop, stop, stop. We're chilling.